what's up everyone today we have a interesting one it's actually something i'm excited for it's a commercial toro the two cycle five and a half horsepower engine i've worked on a decent amount of these pro lines but the suzuki two cycle is something that i think i've only had maybe a half a dozen times and this is the first time that we're going to film it so that's a little exciting other than it just being dirty, it seems to be fine. The compression is very good. These are very hard to pull over just because there's no compression release and it's a two cycle, so they're already a little hard. So it's not for your every day. That's fuel. Could be newer. I've never seen anything on this machine of this first time we're looking at it together. Um, plug is a Denso primer bulb. Actually seems okay. Well, maybe we'll just give it a pull and see what happens. It has the um, primed a few times. Let's see what happens. The cable is in better condition, but it's not off. Which means if it does start, we might need. Oh, it's Let's take these just in case. And there is a block of wood there, too. Nothing. Mm, not horrible. Strange, this has a choke and a primer. So maybe that primer goes to nothing. It just primarily runs on choke. In which case, we just need to fix the cable. So there's two cycle fuel. My plunger is a little sticky. There's a little in there. Let's see what happens. Maybe just not enough. I yank that plug. Yeah, this could be a problem. It's completely bridged over. That's not fuel either. And clean that up, pull on the cord, try to evacuate the cylinder as much as possible. Probably shove my air compressor down there, blow it out as well. And we'll try this again. Now this time there's um, fuel in the plug, or I put some fuel through the plug hole plug is dry, let's give it a pull again. If this doesn't work, we might check for spark. Hmm. 
Yeah, still not much. Yeah, let's try it one more time. So that has a new plug. I dried it out a little bit more. It's a whole lot of nonsense in there. Um, I think I'm gonna look at the plug one more time. Looks for spark. It wasn't anything. So I looked at the cable, and while yes, it says that it's half throttle. That's because the cable wasn't in there all the way. It's actually an off. This piece kills it. So, I'm going to take off the cable, it's frozen, see if we can't fix said cable, and then take it from there. In the meantime, I still want to test the engine, so we're just going to take it off and then we'll just do it manually. That's off. That should give me at least something right there. So we could take the cable out. There we go. Okay, let's give it a pull again. Huh? Let's see if it worked. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, probably not, huh? Let's try this again. But there's definitely spark now. There's a little more fuel down the plug hole because we did spin it over a few times. Let's see what happens. I think it killed itself. Try this again. Yeah, that's exactly what it was doing. Okay, well, I think we're going to look at that cable. Or probably the carb. I don't know how much more you're going to be able to see, but check this out. Now that we have the cable off, it actually doesn't seem too bad. But it was having a problem. So this is a cable oiler sometimes works. One more cables are not really meant to be repaired. At least not like this. Sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. Good thing for us is this is your standard lawnmower cable. So there's that. So after you do that, we're just going to put a little lubricant in here. It's either going to get squirted out this side and it's going to be useless, or it's going to go down the cable. Not going to lie, track record on this is pretty minimal. So, I'm not expecting great results. These cables, like I said, they're not your standard cable. 
Oh, and by the way, you should be wearing safety glasses because you are, I don't want to say compressed gas, but you are compressing oil. But we are successful because look at this end. Ooze. That's good. So I'm going to straighten it out and put it back on. Something that might have been happening is there could have been crimp somewhere. This goes down beneath the bag and through this whole galleyway. Maybe there was something pinching it and that's what's causing the problem. I don't know. But this is also kind of, you know, off to one side, as all good things are. But I'm going to straighten that, put it back on, and see if we can get this working again. Got it installed and. I do believe we have success. I'm hoping that's engaging the choke. That's no, not. Well, I still need to adjust it a little bit from the looks of it, but we're almost done. So I'm going to adjust it so the choke turns on and then we'll give it a pull. So, like I said, I don't know why you would have both a choke and a primer. So I'm going to try a choke, which is on right now. And then, if it doesn't work, we'll try the primer, and if that doesn't work, we probably have a card issue, and then we'll continue on with that. But just in case, let's just go ahead and get this started. Turned off choke, maybe just flooded. Or we have a car problem. So let's give it some two cycle fuel. plunger to work right. Just a little bit. sure I'm going to take off the carb anyway, but just in case, I'm going to drain the fuel, and I'm going to put fresh fuel in there, and then I'm going to let it run outside, try to clear up some of the oil that's in the cylinder, and see if that helps. You know what, I'm going to end up having to do this anyway, might as well just do it now. And is there ever a bad reason to clean a carb? No. Turn on the ultrasonic camera. Let me 
technically I would feel better cleaning it anyway. It's just the right thing to do. Huh. Looks like there's a screw in here. That's not 5 sixteenths. Is that a quarter? Not a quarter, it's probably like eight millimeters or something. So when you sell something, which is what, well I should rephrase, if it's not yours, you always want to make sure that you're doing a good job. So we should be doing this anyway. Fuel line is so oily, I can't even get a grip on it. It does help, it's already on there pretty good too. Right tool, the right job. Wow, that fuel line is garbage. came off easy enough. It's obviously the choke. Come on, get off here. That, that one is just going to get replaced anyway. It's going to be one of those machines. Come on, get off there. Hmm. So, this is going to be one of those re uh, situations we're going to have to take off the stud. So... Go get a wrench and we'll get started with that. I wouldn't say this is probably the most legit way of doing it, but it's also not the wrong way of doing it. But two 10 millimeters, one that's tightening. Now that's stuck together. I will put this on reverse. And voila. Take it off. Both of these should come off free and easy. You could use two wrenches and whatnot. I'm sure that's probably safer, but I like to save time and use an impact, which is already kind of low on power. It's old. It's lived a good life. back in its day it was definitely a good little tool now there's another one that kind of replaces a lot of its work but the detail work it's second to none so this also came off okay I was one of those like reeds or something in there. OK. 
Okay. How's this on there? Looks like it's just should just pull right off. After the spring gets loosened. There we go. Now we have this nice oily mess. I'm going to wipe this off as best as I can. Then we will take a look at it in the carb station. Well, here we are. That's some type of vent, so I need to remember that. That's a different size. Looks like we have a 12. Yep, 12. There was sludge in there. So even though it was running, I don't know for how much longer it would be running. Yes, I know. I shouldn't be doing that, but it's the first thing I was able to grab easily. Take this shit out. Potentially. single part of this is going to be difficult. I can tell already every single part. reason why you want to take that out is it obstructs me from taking the jet out. It's in the center. Well, not the jet, but the emulsion tube. I want to take that out. Mm, not too bad. grime in here. It's okay, we have spares. Now, let's take out this screw here. You could count the screws if you want to, but I'm just going to go off the clean area as a kind of like a mark to kind of follow. That needs to be cleaned. Doesn't appear to be anything else to take out. 
So I'm going to wash this off a little bit more, wash my hands, I'm going to drain the fuel because that looks pretty, besides the dirt in it of course, but it looks pretty old. Then we will put it together and see how she runs with fresh gas. And we have all that done. It didn't clean all of it obviously, but inside it's clean. I took a wire wheel and kind of cleaned off the end a little bit. Let's take off all the nasty on this. oil on this machine. Zero. Just made up for the fact that it doesn't need oil in it, so might as well have oil on it. Okay, which way does it go? There we go. tube so I'm blow that out as you can tell it's uh, not been not too bad This is fairly important to take out too. It may not look like it has a whole lot of holes in it or anything, but you can definitely make it a problem. One time, I took my drill press and I drilled like two holes on each side, um, eight total, kind of match with the the lining of the stock ones. It definitely made a fairly significant difference. I almost thought about doing it right now, but then it was a lot of work and I'm pretty sure I also did a couple other things to that engine. If memory serves me correctly, the deck was bad. I figured, well, why not? Let's modify it two cycle real quick. Ported it. The jet was definitely enlarged. So. Now, I'll put this in, and the idle set screw, it should be set. Sometimes gravity can be your friend. That's roughly where it is. So 
I'm gonna put this on the machine, just the exact opposite, and replacing the I replaced the fuel filter and the fuel line. It was pretty nasty, so I'll just put the new fuel line and everything on. Put new fuel and we'll give this a pull. Okay, carbs put back together, fuel line, plug is new old one, the one we put into because the other one was fouled. I'm gonna try three quarter throttle on the primer. Choke isn't engaging all the way. Let me adjust that. Let's give it a try. Okay, so after you properly adjust the choke, it turns on. That's good. So I'm gonna put a new plug in it. I'm gonna run outside, pressure wash it. Anyway, new plug, I order a new air filter, pressure wash it, sharpen the blade, all that good stuff. I'm gonna check the transmission. I felt it go the first time, so I'm pretty sure it's okay. But I wanna make sure the wheels are okay. I'm just gonna take it outside and check that. If there's a problem I'll bring it back but I don't suspect there is. I think the main problem was that the the, the cable was kind of bad. Okay, if you like what you see keep watching, subscribe, put a thumbs up, catch me in the next video. Later.